Every traveler visiting the coast of any ocean, any sea, or even a large lake must know what a rip current is. It is a natural phenomenon at sea when water begins to flow back into the sea as a result of local waves and their motion, creating strong, narrow jets of water that move away from the beach. Most often, such a physical phenomenon occurs on shallow beaches framed by sandbars. The strength of the current formed strongly depends on the strength of the wind, the size of the breaking waves, the time of the tide, the depth at which the waves, having gained maximum height, break on the sandy shore. The rip current can unpredictably occur in various places on the beach. The outflowing water under the influence of overlapping waves forms creeks on the shallow sand pit and tries to escape back into the sea, finding depressions that connect such places with the sea in which the water pressure rises sharply. A swiftness is formed like a river, which rushes back into the sea. The current speed can reach up to 2.5 meters per second. It is a strong current that even Olympic swimmers cannot resist. According to statistics, this dangerous phenomenon at sea takes away about 100 lives annually in America alone. So how can we identify these dangerous places on the beach? Well, they are usually visible. They look like rivers with darker, muddier water. They can carry seaweeds, sea foam, or other debris from the beach back to the sea. Sometimes there are ripples that resemble a stream on a river. You don't need to have a drone to spot them. They're fairly easy to spot yourself. In such places, as a rule, there are no waves, and it forms a gap of about 5 to 10 meters or more between the tidal strip of tidal waves and many people think that this is exactly the safest spot to swim or enter the sea at. Even standing in such places is not safe, as the current can knock down a person and pick them up into the sea. Only 5% of people know about this phenomenon and know how to behave if they find themselves in such a situation. Having caught a swimmer, the current can carry a person 50 to 100 meters from the shore. It is a widespread misconception that a rebound wave can drag a person under the water, but fortunately, this is not the case. A rebound current is not a whirlpool and is only capable of carrying an object into the sea and the further from the shore it goes, it begins to weaken. In 90% of cases, the rip current weakening makes a circle and returns back to the shore. Therefore, in order not to perish in such a situation, one must first not panic, and second, in no case, try to resist the flow of water. Regardless, no one can resist it. You will only lose strength to fight and reduce your chance of survival. You just need to surrender to the flow of the water, and most importantly, save your strength and stay afloat. If there are people on the beach or any lifeguards, wave your hand and call for help. Never go into the water alone. Many people recommend trying to swim parallel to the shore and try to break out of the rebound stream, but people who study the physics of this phenomenon argue that depending on the width of the rebound stream, this idea can reduce your chance of survival by 50%. You should also not swim between rocks or stones where water can find the least resistance to outflow and might form a rip current. Sometimes completely harmless at first glance, a beautiful beach can store a mortal danger. So you need to be careful with powerful nature. Remember how to behave in this situation and tell other people about it in order to prevent tragedy and save lives.